Hi, I am Linda, in this video, I shall give you a small understanding of the two main types of arthritis, which are osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. They can have symptoms that can become a chronic condition that mainly attacks your joints. The symptoms can include inflammation, stiffness, and pain that eventually causes a reduction of movement. Arthritis is the most common type of disease worldwide with over 100 different types. As outdated treatments may not fully alleviate symptoms for everyone, many turn to supplements as an alternative or complementary approach. I shall cover various supplements that can help manage arthritis symptoms, also I shall go into each supplement and their efficiency and safety. But you should see your healthcare professional before starting any supplements, as they can clash with your prescribed medication. The two common type is osteoarthritis. This is also called a degenerative joint disease, where cartilage wears down over time. The affected joints can be knees, hips, hands, and spine. With symptoms of pain, stiffness, swelling, and decreased range of motion. The second common type is rheumatoid arthritis, also called an autoimmune disorder where the immune system attacks the synovium, which is the lining of the membranes that surround the joints. It can affect any joint and can develop on both sides of the body, for example, if you have rheumatoid arthritis in the left hand, you will develop it in your right hand. The disease often starts in the smaller joints like your hands and feet. The symptoms can include joint pain, swelling, and potential joint deformity, and can develop into your organs such as your lungs. For the rest of the video, I shall explore 10 common types of supplements that can help with different types of arthritis. The first one is glucosamine. It is a natural complex compound that is found in your cartilage, which is the tough tissue that cushions joints. Chondroitin is a major section of cartilage that helps it retain water. There are several types of glucosamine. One is glucosamine sulfate. This can also delay the breakdown of the cartilage and repair the damage. The studies show that there is a mixed result. Some results show that these supplements can relieve pain and improve joint function, while others indicate no significant benefit. Also, a randomized trial showed that these supplements have modest pain relief in osteoarthritis, but the effect size was often small. The safety of glucosamine and chondroitin can generally be considered safe for long-term use. But there are some side effects such as stomach upset, headache, and skin reactions. Number 2. Omega-3 fatty acids. This is found in oily fish such as salmon or sardines. They have anti-inflammatory properties that help with inflammation. This type of fatty acid also reduces the inflammation called cytokines, which are small proteins that help with the control of the growth and immune system cells, also blood cells. Icosinoids on the other hand help with swelling, inflammation of the site of injury, and blood clots, they also help with asthma attacks. Some clinical trials have shown that omega-3 supplements can reduce morning stiffness and several tender joints that you get with rheumatoid arthritis. When taking omega-3 you should be able to reduce the need for non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Omega-3 is generally safe but if you accidentally take a high dosage, it can increase the risk of bleeding and may interact with anticoagulant medications. The other side effects may include gastrointestinal symptoms, like indigestion and diarrhea. Number 3 is curcumin and turmeric. Curcumin is the active ingredient in turmeric, which has strong powerful anti-inflammatory and antioxidants. It prevents molecules that are involved in inflammation. Some studies have shown that curcumin can reduce joint pain and improve function in arthritis. An analysis found that curcumin was linked with significantly reducing arthritis symptoms. When you take curcumin, it is generally safe, but can cause gastrointestinal issues at high doses. If you take any blood thinners it is wise not to take any turmeric, as it can interact with your prescribed medications. Boswellia serrata, also known as Indian frankincense, has anti-inflammatory effects. It involves the synthesis of leukotrienes, 
which are molecules that mediate inflammation. Clinical trials have found that Boswellia can reduce pain and improve function. Some studies show significant improvements in pain and physical function scores. Boswellia is generally well tolerated, but may cause gastrointestinal discomfort. Number 5 is methyl sulfonylmethane. This is a sulfur recognized to decrease irritation and oxidative stress. Also, it may block the breakdown of cartilage. Some people have been found to reduce the symptoms of osteoarthritis. This has minor side effects, such as nausea and diarrhea. However, larger security measures have not yet been studied. Number 6 is SAMe which has anti-inflammatory properties and helps with the cartilage. Also has pain-relieving impacts. It is successful in decreasing the effect of osteoarthritis and relieving joint function. SAMe is generally secure, but it can cause side effects that include gastrointestinal issues, uneasiness, and insomnia, and may be linked with antidepressants and other medications. 7 is ginger, this has a compound called gingerol, which helps with inflammation. Studies have recommended that ginger can decrease the progression of osteoarthritis. Some clinical trials have established a direct link between decreasing the symptoms and making steps in mobility. The side effects of ginger can cause acid reflux and mouth irritation. Also, it may be associated with anticoagulant medications. Number 8 is vitamin D. This D-vitamin helps with bones and the digestive system. If you have a deficiency in vitamin D, it means that you may be vulnerable to rheumatoid arthritis. The advantage of vitamin D is that it decreases the signs of rheumatoid arthritis. It is generally safe, but high dosages can cause poison and lead to hypoglycemia. The side effects can cause nausea and other complications such as kidney damage. Number 9, green tea. This tea is full of rich in polyphenols, particularly epigallocatechin gallate, which have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects. This can help with immune responses and reduce inflammation. Animal studies and initial human trials suggest green tea may reduce the severity of arthritis. However, there is more need for research to confirm the effects on humans. Green tea is generally safe in moderation. High doses can cause liver toxicity and other side effects due to caffeine content. Lastly, number 10 is avocado soybean unsupanifiable. This last one is a mixture of one-third avocado oil and two-thirds soybean oil. It is believed to reduce inflammation and promote cartilage repair. Clinical trials indicate that it can reduce pain and improve function in osteoarthritis. Analysis showed a significant improvement in pain and physical function. This is also generally safe with few reports of side effects, but long-term safety data is limited. The conclusion to supplements for managing arthritis symptoms is widespread, and various options are available with differing degrees of efficiency and safety profiles. While some supplements like glucosamine, chondroitin, and omega-3 fatty acids have a considerable amount of research supporting their use, others like ginger and green tea are supported by developing evidence but require further investigation. Five quick facts on how to use supplements carefully. The first one is important before starting any supplements. You should always consult with a healthcare provider, especially if you have existing health conditions or taking other prescribed medications. Number 2. Choose high-quality supplements from reputable sources to ensure safety and efficacy. Number 3. Regularly monitor symptoms and side effects. It is best if you jot them down in a book so that you remember and can adjust dosages or discontinue use based on medical advice. Number 4. Consider using supplements as part of a comprehensive management plan that includes diet, exercise, and conventional treatments. And number five, stay informed about the latest research to understand the benefits and risks associated with different supplements. Thanks for listening to my video. I am not a medical professional, 
and the information in this video is for information only. If you have any worries about your condition, you should consult with your healthcare professional. If you found this video helpful then please click the subscribe button to follow my channel and press the bell. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I will get back to you. I hope this video has helped and good luck.